Within seconds of the Earth snapping near Truckee last night, thousands of people knew about the magnitude 6 quake that was about to rock their world. Except it wasn't a magnitude 6. What turned out to be a 4.7 activated the shake alert system and tens of thousands of people were alarmed. First, the quake struck without warning. My whole house just shook and it just came out of nowhere. So did the initial estimate of a damaging magnitude 6. The earthquake was always a 4.7. The shake alert system, which operates really quickly, estimated the earthquake at magnitude 6. And that was changed pretty quickly within about a tenth of a second, and we brought it down to 4.7. But shake alert works so quickly that we made that initial estimate because of what information we had. That flawed magnitude 6 estimate got people ducking and covering in a big hurry. You can imagine that people get an alert that they're about to feel shaking and, you know, the, there's the potential for people to panic. Um, did people get this alert who probably didn't need to get the alert? It's sort of dependent on what people want, but in many cases, situational awareness is pretty critical to people. In fact, a man who lived 100 miles from the epicenter said the shake alert worked. Two loud chirps seconds before I felt it. Well, people pretty far away from this earthquake in the Bay Area, Santa Clara, San Jose, San Francisco, got alerts for this earthquake. If you're living as thousands do within 100 yards or so of the trace of the Hayward Fault, and the mm -hmm. Hayward Fault finally triggers its inevitable magnitude 6.7 plus, does anybody living within 100 yards of the fault realistically get any time to take any sort of evasive action that's going to help them out? Or are they just too close? Mm -hmm. So the shaking will still be the signal. But one thing that we know is if you're very close to the epicenter of an earthquake, then it's likely that you're not going to get an alert before shaking arrives. Well, so it comes down to this. You want maybe a 10-second warning that a big shake is coming? You got it. It could happen in 10 seconds, or in 10 weeks, or, well, we already know that we are due for a magnitude 7 on the Hayward Fault. Bridges will be out, cell towers will be down, ATMs will be inoperable. That's your shake alert. Make a plan now.